Car Overview. First of all, we're going to introduce the key. Click the button on the top to lock the car. Long press it to find the car. Click the second button to unlock the car. For the third button, we can double click it to open the boot. While the boot is opening, we can click once to stop and click twice again to close the boot. Long press the last button to prepare the car remotely and the car will be started and the AC will be turned on. Now we are going to unlock the car. We are going to open and close the door. We are going to start the car by pressing the start and stop button in the center console. Let's move to the steering wheel. We can control the driving assistance systems from the left side of the steering wheel. We can click the button in the center to select ACC and autopilot at the same time. The ACC and autopilot symbols appear on the upper right side of the instrument cluster. The autopilot only functions when the ACC is activated. For the autopilot, we can turn it off from the head unit. The autopilot symbol disappears. We will leave it on. We can adjust the speed by the scroll wheel button. However, we are not in a driving mode, so we cannot activate ACC or set the speed. We are going to show it later after we switch to the driving gear. However, we are able to adjust the distance. We can click this button to decrease distance and increase distance. Now we are going to switch to the driving gear. We switched to the driving gear. Now we are able to activate ACC. The ACC symbol in the instrument cluster becomes green. We can set the speed now. Push the scroll wheel upward to increase the speed by 5 km per hour. Push it downward to decrease the speed by 5 km per hour. When we long press it, the speed changes faster. Click the button on the left to pause ACC. Click the scroll wheel to resume ACC and the speed resumes to the previous one. Click the button in the center to cancel ACC completely. Now we're going to introduce the two buttons on the top. Before that, we are going to switch back to parking gear. On the top, the first button is to turn on the parking camera. And we can click the second button to rotate the head unit. Let's move to the right side of the steering wheel. We can click the button on the bottom left to play media or switch media sources. The button on the left is to switch menus. The first page of the menu is the speed limit warning. We can scroll it up or down to select and click the button to confirm. The next menu The next menu is the temperature adjustment.
And the next menu is for the ventilation level adjustment. We can also turn it off. Let's move to the next page. From this menu, we can select vehicle information that shows on the main page of the instrument cluster, including tire pressure, driving time, average speed, accumulated consumption, energy flow, and remaining range. Next page, styles. We can switch between simplified, classic, and fashion. Let's move to the next page. Acceleration timer. Next page. Diagnosis. That's all the pages. We can scroll this button to adjust volume. Click the buttons with arrows to play previous and next. Click the button on the top left to accept phone calls. And click this button to activate or deactivate the voice assistant. This is the instrument cluster and the steering wheel. Now let's move to the head unit. On the head unit, there is a drop down menu, and there are many controls here, including Wi Fi, Internet, Bluetooth, Mute and Mute. Hotspot, screenshot, automatic rotation, brightness, volume, and so on. We can edit the options. There is a left page. This page is mostly about the profile, mobile data, and maintenance. And we can set application shortcuts from here as well. Let's go to the home page. There are three shortcuts on the top. The first one is the voice assistant. We can activate the voice assistant or go to the voice assistant menu. The second one is weather. And on the top right, it is the last plate media source. In the central area, we can see three widgets and they can be customized. We can long press them and select different features. And we can delete them as well. In the lower area, we have settings and climate controls. At the bottom, there are several other choices, which are return, home, clear feature, rotate screen, and split screen. We're going to show the split screen Only a limited number of features can be used for the split screen.
And the last one, screen protection. We also have a notification on the top. Swipe right to view the menu. These are the default apps. Before TikTok, there are the default apps. After TikTok, there are the apps that are downloaded from the App Store. We can long press a feature to reorder or to check the information. We can long press a downloaded app and uninstall them. We can long press the menu page to add pages or delete pages. This is the head unit. Now let's move to the center console. The first button is to activate or deactivate lane assist. We can choose between lane departure warning or lane keep assistance in the settings. The next button we can push, um, we can activate or deactivate the blind spot detection. When we turn it on, the blind spot detection sign appears in the instrument cluster. The next button, we can push it to switch the recuperation levels between strong and standard. Let's move to the right side. On the right side, the first button is to adjust the volume, or we can click it to turn on screen protection for the head unit. The second button is AC Auto Mode. The third button is AC On and Off. And the next button, Front Window Heating. We can click the last button to switch driving modes. We can push it to select. We can choose between driving mode, between all um, eco mode or sport mode. The driving modes apply to both the head unit and the instrument cluster. Now we're going to switch gears. We need to press the two sides and push. Driving gear. Neutral. And return. The parking camera opens when we switch to the return gear. Click the P sign to switch to the parking gear. Now we're going to turn off the car by clicking the start and stop button in the center console. Now we're going to lock the car. 